Hi, this is a portable lab power supply, which is battery powered, it is rechargeable with a USB-C and it is powerful, approximately 40 watts, 1 to 36 volt at the output, 0 5 amp adjustable. Like any other cordless tool, will be very handy, can be used for many purposes, like charging batteries, but also to power LEDs, bulbs, Arduino's projects or motors. This is based on the XYS 3580 Backboost power supply module from AliExpress. What you need for the conversion is a 3-cell protected battery pack or you can use 3-cell and a BMS on the top. Then you need two bananas, female, one battery charger for 3S, super glue, wire, a switch, and of course the power supply module. Prepare a setup like this with the following cable length. Please note that the battery cables are in parallel with the cables that are going to the power supply and they are passing through the switch. Let's get started. Print the case with the 3D printer or find someone that is printing for you. Pass the banana cable with the spacers and the nuts. Pass the wiring through the back hole of the module. Those two wires, they will go into the input terminals of the power supply. Now attach the two bananas to the output terminals of the power supply and fit the power supply in the 3D printed case. Glue the battery charger module with the USB output exactly on the rear hole. Please leave the two ventilation holes open. Now place the switch on the side and, and fit the battery inside. That's it, you are done. Let's glue the lid and finish with some sandpaper. Okay, it is working correctly. Here is the back side. And now let's set up the power supply for our battery. Low voltage protection at 9.3 volt. And let's set the overpower protection to 40 watts in order to limit the input current. And now let's charge it. Take a USB-C to USB cable, connect it and you will see that the input voltage is increasing slowly. Please note that the standard USB-C adapter will not work. They need the stupid USB-C to US standard USB connector. Charging voltage is very accurate in the module I tested because it stopped exactly at 12.6 volts. Some considerations about safety. This module is the battery charger module. The sample I have is very accurate. You have to select the 3, 3S version and this is the input current limiter. So this module is limiting the maximum input current. I have the 2 amp version. So with most of my 5 volt adapter will be able to work. I made those two holes in order to have some ventilation. I measured also the temperature of the module while working and it is kind of okay. It should not melt this uh, plastic here. But still, I would probably go for the 1 amp version, so you are even more safe. 